Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the updated version of Google Books and the new Google Books user interface. Now, to be clear, we're talking about books.google.com. We're not talking about the Google Play Store where you may purchase ebooks. So let's go ahead and get started here. And I'm going to do a very generic search on the War of 1812. Well, books on the War of 1812. And our results that come up here will show me any book that Google has indexed. I can refine this to just books that have a preview available, just books that are available through Google eBooks, or only free Google eBooks, which is what I'm going to do right now. Now I can further refine this and select just books and rule out magazines and newspapers. I can also specify a publication date or range of dates and I can refine this according to relevance or date. Now once I scroll through and look at a book, maybe I want to use, we'll just take the first book here at the top. And you'll see here, I can now read the book for free. And I can go through all 365 pages or 364 pages of this book. But let's say I want to jump to a section about impressment. I want to find any page in the book that references impressment. It brings it up for me. I can click on that and I can read that page. Now there's more that I can do here. In the upper right hand corner, I can select share a clip and that will allow me to clip that section and I could scroll down and select more if I wanted to. And now I can copy just the text from that book. I can copy an image of that page of the book and if I do that, it'll look like this or I can get an embed code to embed that section of the book into a page a web page now I'm going to exit that and I can use these tools to just toggle forward while I'm up here I'll also show you you can change your layout to a two-page view and then you can zoom in you can also go with a huge grid view. I'm gonna go back to that standard view right there. Now, let's exit out of this. And let's say my student has decided they wanna use this book in their research paper. They can click on create citation and it formats a citation for them. They can copy and paste and use in their work cited pages. You can also from here print a copy of this now bear in mind, it's a 365 page PDF. So probably worth reminding your students to only print the pages that they actually need out of the book. Now let's go back in and do that search again on the War of 1812. And this time we'll take a book that just has a preview available Let's say The War of 1812, A Forgotten Conflict Bicentennial Edition. And this only has 51 pages available as a preview. So let's click on that, do a search for the within the book. Even though it only has 51 pages available, it still shows me all the pages that are within the book that reference the word impressment. If I click on that page, you'll see here that I can share just that page, but I don't have the clipping tool that's available when the book is available for free in its entirety. But what I do have here, and I can use with any book I find through Google eBooks, is to hit find in a library and that takes me here to worldcat.org 
where it will show me the libraries near me that have a copy of the book. So it's a really convenient way for students to determine if a book has enough material for them to work with in their research and then find out where they can get a copy of that book if the book is not available in its entirety for free. So that's a short overview of the new user interface in Google Books. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.